some mad bags under my eyes. It's not looking good for me. Bags under the eyes. Barbers are shut so I can't get a trim. But it's okay, we move. Now I've got a busy day today. First up, we're heading to work, sorting some stuff out there. Then we're going to get in a nice long walk. And after that, we're setting this up. This may not look like much to you, but this is really going to improve my ability to record these videos. It's a teleprompter, and if you don't know what it is, it means basically I can look directly into the camera through this hole. And by having my phone lay down on here, I can read the script. So hopefully it should make my videos a lot more smoother. And once that's sorted, I'm going to tell you all about Hype Drop 1.0. And already some of the shoes from the drop are sold out, so you got to act quick. Some really good shoes have come out in this drop, so make sure you stay tuned until the end. And on that note, we're out of here. So I've been and done my errands, been for a walk, got this teleprompter sorted and now it's time to talk about the 10 shoes that dropped on Saturday, the Hype Drop 1.0. We have the Puma Future Rider NES, the Adidas Yeezy 700 V3 Azareth, the Adidas Pharrell Hue White, the Gold Agler Adidas Superstar Spider-Man, the Clark's Wallaby Bape Coral Combi, the New Balance 2002R Salihi Bembry, the Adidas ZX8000 Bapex Undefeated in Green, the Adidas Consortium 4D Energy Concept, the Gold Agler Adidas ZX8000 Lego Mix Blocks, and the Gold Agler Adidas Ultra 4D SNS Green Tea Time. So, firstly, the Future Rider NES. Although, at first glance, this sneaker is nothing special, it's actually a great shoe for its price. Coming out as the most efficient shoe available at its price, even beating the Superstar Tiffany Custom. In fact, the only shoe more efficient in the game that costs less than this shoe is Jaglet 1 SKL Crew Socks. Next up, we have the Adidas Yeezy 700 V3 Azareth costing 1,550 Aglet. This tier 4 shoe is the third Yeezy 700 V3 to drop in Aglet and actually the most efficient too. It's a solid pickup and not that bad looking either. Sadly this shoe sold out within an hour of release so I hope you copped. Third in the list we have a silhouette that's no stranger to life in the Aglet shop. The Pharrell Hue NMD. This is the ninth colorway of this shoe to have released on Aglet so something tells me the Team Aglet guys like this shoe, despite its downfall in popularity in recent years. Now we have the first gold aglet shoe of this drop, the Adidas Superstar Spider-Man. This shoe released at the back end of November in line with the release of Spider-Man Miles Morales for the PlayStation. Spidey jumped from Jumpman to the three stripes, which meant this shoe flew under the radar for most. But not aglet sneaker artist and superstar connoisseur, Dan Free Ben. Next we have a new model to aglet, the Clark's Wallaby, coming in with one of the colorways that dropped from the Clark's X Bape collaboration at the end of last year. This is where the efficiency really starts to pick up with this Hype Drop 1.0 release. The Wallaby has a sneaker shine efficiency of 219 and a dead stock efficiency of 302. The sixth shoe on this list is the New Balance 2002R Salihi Bambri. This is a shoe I'd never heard of before this release, so I didn't cop it. Did you? Being that this shoe is tier two, it's not profitable when using sneaker shine, but its efficiency is 312 when dead stocking. Now another shoe that sold out already, the tier two Adidas ZX8000 Bape X Undefeated in the green colorway. This shoe, like the previous New Balance, isn't profitable when using sneaker shine, but its dead stock efficiency is 372 considerably higher than the Salihi New Balance that costs only 3,000 aglet more. Definitely a shoe I'd recommend using if you purchased it. Now, the most efficient regular aglet shoe from this drop, the Adidas Consortium 4D Energy Concept. Sadly, this shoe is already sold out, but do not fear. The FRT1 Indigo Blossom is still in stock, and yes, it does cost 5,000 aglet more, but it is slightly, slightly more efficient than the Consortium 4D Energy Concept. Now, two shoes remain from Hype Drop 1.0, and they're both gold aglet. The first I'm going to talk about is the ZX8000 LEGO Mixed Blocks. This shoe is a great buy for its price. It's a tier 3 shoe that's more efficient than a shoe that costs 30 gold aglet more in the Gucci screener Distressed. And we also can't forget about how cool it looks. But now it's time for what in my opinion is quite possibly the best gold aglet shoe ever released on aglet, the Ultra 4D SNS Green Tea Time. This shoe does require that you have a tier 2 dead stock station, but if you do, you can't go wrong purchasing this shoe. The Ultra 4D SNS Green Tea Time has a dead stock efficiency of 1,824. The next closest shoe in terms of cost is the tier 3 Virtual 25 with a dead stock efficiency of 1,099. And if you want to match the tier 2, it's actually all the way down to a shoe that costs more, the Tiana Taylor Question with a dead stock efficiency of 1,049. I'd really, really recommend buying the Ultra 4D SNS Green Tea Time if you're in the market for a gold aglet shoe and you have access to a tier 2 dead stock station. 
By the time the shoe is dead, you'll have earned roughly a quarter million aglet from the shoe. That's all I have from Hype Drop 1.0, but Hype Drop 1.0 does indicate that there's going to be a Hype Drop 2.0, so stay tuned for that announcement, which will most likely come later on this week. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in a bit. Peace.